Okay, today we are going to show you how to do hair and makeup for the recital for Ultimate Dance. We've had a lot of people ask, how do we do their hair? How do we do their makeup? So we're gonna make a video to show you. This is my daughter, Summer, and she's gonna be my model. <laughs> you ready? All right, we're gonna start with the hair first. You're gonna do a left part. It's their left part. So over her left eye, left hand, that's where you're gonna part it. If you were looking at her, um, it would be on the right side. So that confuses some people sometimes, but just think it's their left part over their left eye. I always use a bobby pin because it draws a nice straight line whenever I'm parting her hair. Good line. All right, so I'm gonna spray her hair down with water because we want no flyaways. We want it nice and sleek and tight. I have a wet brush here. That I'm just gonna give it a little comb. But really, to make it nice and sleek and flat, you're gonna need to use a bristle brush. I have like a little one that actually works really well. It's a Conair one. I think I got it at Walmart. It's probably three or four dollars. But like I said, just use what you have at home. It's gonna be a low bun, right about above the nap of her neck. And then we will hairspray it. You can also use gel. I find that the hairspray works just fine. Sometimes um, the gel's good too because you can put it on there and brush it and get it nice and nice and flat. A little bit more. <laughs> okay, we're gonna secure it with a ponytail. It's good to have one that's around the same color as their hair, so I have a yellow one. And we're gonna make a nice low pony right at the nap of her neck. Just like that. Now this is actually the first time for a recital that I have used one of these donut buns, but I actually find it makes the bun look full, perfect, and it's easy. So if you want one of these, you can buy them at Walmart. I think I got this one at Sally's Beauty Supply. They have smaller ones if your daughter has um, shorter, thinner hair, if they're younger. Um, this is actually a regular size one, because as you can see, Summer has pretty thick, longer hair. All right, Summer, I'm gonna have you down. You're just going to spread her hair over the donut. Spread the hair evenly over that donut. Put that head down. So I'm going to take another elastic and you put that right over the donut and it makes a perfect bun just like that. some bobby pins. Summer, you're sitting so good for me. Almost done. Okay. Almost done. We just wrap that a little bit around. All right, so after you've got the bun secure there, some you can put your head up. See, you've got a nice, low, big bun. I think it's pretty. But like I said, this is the first year she's six years old that I have used a donut on her hair before. I would just use just her hair, wrap it around. Her bun was definitely smaller, but it was fine too. Now I'm gonna take a hairnet that's blonde, just like her hair, and I'm gonna go over that bun. It just makes sure all the hair stays in place and secured. I'm gonna twist it, wrap it around again. Basically, you just wanna twist it, wrap it around as many times as it'll go. Hers went twice because her bun is so big. <laughs> So finishing touches, we use the Mega Freeze Extreme Hold. It's the gold can. You get this at Walmart. And you just spray, spray, spray. Making sure there are no baby hairs, no fly away, no frizz. Because when you're on stage, the lights will catch those little frizzes and baby, baby hairs. And you want it to look very neat and nice. And so 
So there's the bun. Nice and low, got the nap of the neck. That way if you have a flower or um, a bow with your costume, that'll go on wherever it says on your paper, usually the right side right here, uh, behind the ear next to the bun. All right, so next we're gonna do her makeup. Summer's favorite part. <laughs> Not really though, but she's a good sport. <laughs> Now I'm going to show you the makeup for um, eight years and younger. It's a little bit lighter. If you're above eight years old, um, we encourage you to wear the false eyelashes, the redder lips, eyeliner, all of that stuff because definitely when you're on stage, um, those bright lights will wash out your features and we want to be able to see you. Um, so eight and under, we're still going to put on the foundation. We're going to... I have a sponge here and some foundation. We have a brown palette for the eyeshadow, just neutral colors, browns, tans, taupes. Um, really, really don't be too sparing on the blush. If it looks like it's too much, it's probably just right because you really wanna see those cheeks. Um, eyeliner and mascara. And then we're gonna do a red lip. A little like mine, right? <laughs> We're gonna start with foundation, and it actually is important to do foundation. Even though a six-year-old skin is pretty perfect, you want all the other makeup to have something to stick to. And if you don't have foundation on, it's not gonna to stick to it very well. So you don't need a ton, especially on the young ones. I just put a little dot here. She's a good sport. <laughs> okay. All right. Next, we are going to do the eyeshadow. Um, what I like to do before applying the eyeshadow is take some loose powder and I dot that, close your eyes, underneath her eyes, make it kind of thick. I know it seems weird, but that way when you get all that eyeshadow on her cheeks, it will wipe uh, right off. So I've got a palette here. I've got some browns, some taupes. I'm just gonna start with this white actually and go right over her lids. That'll be my base. I'm going to take my smaller brush and go into this cocoa color. It's like a deep brown. I'm going to go right into her crease. Light to in whatever colors you want to use as long as you stay in that natural palette. No blues, no purples. <laughs> No 80 style Madonna eyes. Before I apply eyeliner, I actually like to fill in Summer's eyebrows just a little bit because her eyebrows are so blonde. When she's on stage, it doesn't look like she has any. <laughs> okay, so eyeliner. You can do liquid, you can do um, gel, a pencil. I actually like to do liquid because I feel like it draws a really straight line, but it also can be tricky if you mess up. Um, so gel might be the easiest thing to close. Usually I do her liquid eyeliner while she's laying down, but I think I've gotten good enough at it. I don't need to do that. Summer is very good about keeping still. Yep, and you can bring those lines out a little bit longer than usual. I'm just gonna do the liquid on the top and I'm gonna do the gel just a little bit on the bottom. Just a little bit. We still want our little dancers to look like little girls. All right, eyes open. And do is brush off that excess powder. Good. 
Okay, now we're gonna take the gel eyeliner. Um, and don't forget, if you do do liquid eyeliner, um, make sure before they open their eyes that it's dry. I blew on her face a couple times, right? <laughs> so, liquid eye, uh, gel eyeliner. Just follow the water. Well, you can go underneath, actually, the water line. Um, she doesn't like this part. Just gonna put a tiny bit on underneath. Nope, you can open. Just a little bit to define those eyes. So we can see your beautiful blue eyes. I don't have any. I know. Okay, so next is mascara. <coughs> I do the blush and the lipstick last. That way I'm not touching your face and messing it up. right there okay next is blush I have one on this palette right here um, just like a rose so I'm gonna get you to suck in your cheeks like this yep and I just follow the blush bone blush bone cheekbone suck in suck in like a fish I'm gonna make the fish face there we go Um, so we want you guys to use a dark pink or red anything that'll show up on stage I think red is just a good good color it makes their teeth look white. It goes with everything. It's very um, Performance ready, um, but also a dark pink is fine, too. I can also do my own lipstick. That's true. You can I'm gonna do this for you right now. I'm crazy about but that's why I'm gonna okay. use this I was gonna say pink. Yeah, well, I'm gonna use this red lip liner and that'll fill it in and make it look more red. Let me see those little lips. <laughs> and voila! Let me see, Sammy. <laughs> so there it is. Like I said, if they are above eight, the only thing differently we would do is maybe put some false eyelashes on them. Um, which Summer has worn for competition and she loves them. She doesn't mind them at all when I put them on. Nope. Um, I can show them to you. You take it out. You put a little glue on there. She closes her eyes. You put it right. I can actually stick this one on and they can see what it looks like. Um, you put it right on the lash line. You hold it there. I usually count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then she can open. And then see the difference? Open nice and wide. Fake eyelash, no fake eyelash. So from stage, those bright lights sitting far back, it's gorgeous. Okay guys, last finishing touch. This is um, a makeup mist and set. It's just a finishing spray for your makeup. It's completely optional. You don't have to use it. This is actually the first time I've used it, um, but we use it for competition. This is by e.l.f. and like you can get it at Walgreens, you can get it at Walmart. I think it was like a dollar or two dollars. So you just maybe like eight inches six in to eight inches away from her face close your eyes summer and that's all you do and it's supposed to set your makeup Ta -da! it smells good <laughs> all right you guys um that is our video hope this helped you and we look forward to seeing you um on stage for the ultimate dance florida recital are you excited right Mwah. <laughs>